The storm came through quickly, bringing heavy rain and a light show. Take a look at this map. At one point, WFAA meteorologists say there were more than 600 lightning strikes in 15 minutes. One of them hit this home in Argyle. You can see the house in flames in this cell phone video taken by a neighbor. Really bright flash and then a bang. There was a family inside along with their pets. The homeowners were inside and they heard some crackling and obviously there had been lightning in the area. They were told to evacuate, which they did, and got out of the home. Firefighters with Argyle and Denton County say they arrived within five minutes and quickly put out the flames. Luckily, there was no wind. So I think if it had been a windy day, it might have been a little bit different situation. WFAA meteorologist Jesse Hawila says he's not surprised something was hit with all the lightning in the storm. Chances are pretty good that it's going to hit a house, a structure or something, right? It's it, because we're so densely populated. Uh, the, now the odds of it finding you are extremely low. He says when it comes to lightning, there's no scientific evidence that shows a two story home is more likely to get struck than a one story home. Now I will say this, if the house is really high up on a hill and really, really tall, maybe by a very small fraction. There is the question of should you put a lightning rod on your house to prevent damage, but Hawila says it's a catch 22. That would actually make the lightning want to go to your house, right? Because now you're putting something up that says, oh, strike me. Now, granted, you're taking that strike and grounding it properly rather than causing maybe a fire. But in rare instances, it can happen. And fire officials say you should always have an escape route to get out of your home should lightning strike. In Argyle, I'm Rebecca Lopez.